welcome to another Everything Google G Suite Video Z. Um, it's been a long while since I've done one of these videos, but I'm trying to get into them again and now I'll be releasing quite regular videos just to get you through uh, some of the features that Google regularly release and um, some of the great features that you can come across. So in today's video, uh, I'm answering a specific question uh, from someone which was, in Google Classroom, can you switch off and turn on uh, certain notifications? Um, if you use G, G Suite, you've got a lot and use Google Classroom. If you're a teacher, the notifications are great, fantastic. Um, but what I always say to teachers that if you are using Google Classroom, always have another member of staff in your classroom or someone as a um, someone from the head of department to be part of your classes just in case if you're not around there's someone in there that can take over your lessons and stuff like that but um, what does happen if you are a manager or a member of staff that looks after quite a few teachers you start to get quite a lot of notifications when work submitted and stuff like that so in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to switch off certain notifications so you're not getting bombarded so much of those uh, 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 emails and sounds every time there's something that's been submitted. So let's get into it. So I've got the classroom session set up. Um, I'm going to go back here quickly. So you'll be presented with this kind of screen as soon as you log into Google Classroom. What you need to do is click on that uh, icon left hand side, the little hamburger symbol, and then go down to settings. And in settings, you now see a whole raft of notification options and these can be from basically a student leaving comments uh, to homework being submitted to work being posted to any comments being left what you see as a teacher your students also see something very similar they won't see absolutely everything that you see in regards to the comments but they'll see certain notifications related to uh, their own specific work like uh, they may not want to get a reminder of work due um, they might just want to see it in their calendar because some of the reminders do um, happen quite late at night depending on when it's due so I'll just do bear that in mind um, so this is where you use this is where you go to to literally switch off any notifications for your Google Classroom what you can also do if you're like uh, a zone leader or a team leader or anything like that uh, there might be classes that you're part of but you don't really want to be informed of every piece of work that's been submitted there because you're only there as backup if you scroll down slightly you can see class notifications so what you can do on here is you can switch off uh, total notifications for a full class um, which is a great feature because I don't think you, you could use this in the early versions of Google Classroom so it's great that they've taken some of those uh, uh, feedback on board to be able to offer that so it's a great feature to be able to switch classroom notifications off if you don't want anything to do with them um, but one thing I've just got to point out is I see, you may not see a lot of these notifications options in your classroom if you don't have any classes in there. So as you start using Google Classroom and as work has been posted, more of these options do become available. Because if I show you what it looks like when you don't have any classes in there, um, this is this is another another example of no Google Classrooms in there. If I go to settings, you can see notification stuff is very minimal. So don't panic when you don't see anything. You will see them once you start adding classes and stuff. Um, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.